Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a festival fairy makeup tutorial. So obviously I put on my wings for this look. And to start, I am using this new product, the Milk Hydro Primer, which is just like supposed to moisturize your face and create a sticky base, which I think it does really well. I really believe it was worth the money and I've been enjoying and using it since this video so go out and try it if you haven't yet i think they have a trial size on their website so maybe get that to start if you're a little bit skeptical here what we just missed is putting on some foundation i'm adding some Kryolan clown white face paint to my foundation just for a really full-on dramatic look so that the next step that i take is going to just intensify the dramaticism of that step and you'll see what I mean pretty much I'm just taking my time to really blend this into my skin to really make it look like second skin and the primer underneath is actually really great at not only creating a sticky base for the makeup to sit on top of but it creates a really nice flawless finish um, without looking cakey or powdery on my skin like, yes, I have my little dry spot I'm figuring out, but my skin looks really nice. And yes, it's different colors, but it's going to be okay. Next, I'm taking a product that's new to me. It's the Milk Matte Bronzer Stick, and I believe I have the color baked. Pretty much, I'm going to take that and really overload my face, make it look like a little sun bunny glow, almost like a sunburned effect, but it's like the step after a sunburn when it's gotten brown and tan and uh, it's no longer a pink red you know like lobster look um, and I just find it to be really cute so take your time when you're doing this you're gonna need to blend a lot especially if you have paler skin or you followed my step of adding some white face paint to this look obviously if I was going to a festival I wouldn't be doing such a heavy foundation and you know, I wouldn't be focusing so much on the skin. I'd make sure to just put a ton of sunscreen on. So totally negate this step if you are going to a festival and going to wear this to a festival. But this is just what I did for the fun makeup that I wear around my house. So yeah, change some things if you are actually going to wear this out. For me, for this look, I just went full in and had a little bit of fun. And then I also took whatever's left on my brush and blended it under my cheekbones and on my chin to bring the look together. And then I'm taking my brightening powder from Besame Cosmetics to brighten up the areas that we didn't put the bronzer in and set them a little bit more so that uh, they stay put. Next, I'm taking this eyeshadow and I'm going to be using it as a blush. It's very pigmented, so go slow and be careful. Um, I believe this is actually a UV eyeshadow from Suva Beauty, so this might work under black light as well, but I'm going to blend it in with this peachier, more natural, actual blush powder to soften the edges and blend it more into my skin. And I'm focusing only on the apples to start, and then I blend it around my nose and the other areas that we added the bronzer so it looks more like that sunburned look like the phase after a sunburn look i don't know what to call it but it's like the worn in sunburn and don't forget your chin because that just pulls everything together and i think it looks really cute next i'm going in with my brows and i'm doing ColourPop brow the perfect brow precision pencil i never know what this is called but it's their little brow pencil and i'm using the uh, dark brown color i really like this pencil because you can be really precise with it and the tip is really small, but then you can also blend it out with the spoolie on the other end. It's a very typical brow pencil, but it works really well. And uh, I think the color is really nice too. It's not too ashy and it's not too warm. And I'm not following my natural shape here. I'm thinning them down a little bit and emphasizing the length at the end. And I'm going to really darken the ends, which you can see here. Next, I'm going in with Milk's eye pigment in, I believe it's called Mermaid Parade or Mermaid Paradise. And I first just start by stippling on the cream product where I want it. And then I'm going to take the brush 
that I used to apply it with and blend out the edges. Um, the reason I did it like this is because it's a cream product and I didn't want to blend too much all around and then it gets into this hot mess. So stipple most of the product where you want it first and then blend it out and then you'll get the effect that you want. And here I just blended it out once and then I wanted to add some more definition right on the corners. So I added a quick bit at the end here. Next, going in with one of my favorite products from Danessa Myricks, and that's her Color FX Color Fix. I don't remember what it is. I just saw it on the screen, and now I forget. But I'm pretty much going to create a couple lines using the purple shade called Royal. Um, this product's really great, but it definitely works better once you let it sit and get a little tacky first. So I put it on my palette and then let it sit for like a minute, and then I started using it with just a regular craft brush. It's obviously clean, but it's it's one that I use for makeup a lot because it's just a cheap brush you can find at your craft store and uh, you don't have to be too sad when it gets stained with product. Uh, so, yes, follow what I'm doing with the lines, create your own lines, whatever you wanna do. I just felt like having an asymmetrical liner look because my eyes are very asymmetrical. I think it just flatters my shape a little bit more but you know do what you're comfortable with and what you feel artistically inclined to create on your face and most of all take your time <laughs> that's my biggest tip next I'm gonna go in with my mascara so I curled my lashes using my Surratt Beauty eyelash curler and then I went in with my Milk Kush Mascara. It's just my favorite. Um, and then you'll see later I put on my bottom lashes the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. It just holds so much better for me. And if you're going to a festival, I would honestly use the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara on all of my lashes. I know it's a tiny brush, but you can really get precise with it. And it will last all day without you having to use a waterproof mascara. Because waterproof mascara really dries out my eyes and almost makes it worse throughout the day for me. So I can't use those. Then I'm going in with highlighter. I'm using the Unicorns Highlight Palette from Lime Crime. That little green shade in the middle makes the most gorgeous, effortless, fun highlight. And I just put it on the inner corner of my eyes before going in with my new Milk Holographic. What do you call it? Gloss. Face gloss. That's what it's called. I went in with a brush because this is my first time using it. I didn't really know what it was going to turn out to be like. So, you know, go slow with it. It's a pretty intense product, but it's really fun. And then I went in with this lipstick from Besame Cosmetics called Wild Orchid. It does not look like this in person. I think the camera really picked up on a few colors and I intensified them to make it look like this really hot pink which is gorgeous and I'm not opposed to it, but it's definitely not what it looked like in person. So don't be fooled. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show me your festival looks. If you recreate anything similar to this, even if it's not at all what I put on my face, I'd love to see it. Tag me, follow me, subscribe to this channel and like or comment the video or both, you know, share it with your friends. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Have a great day, week or month. Bye.